Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next step is reduction. So what happens in reduction? The product which was formed in the first step that is the first, uh, PGA gets reduced to form ATP. So now we will I'm sorry, it gets reduced to form glucose. So now we will see how this process takes place. So it is not only a one-time reduction, but a series of reduction takes place so that 3PGA can form glucose. So let us see how the reduction will happen. Here ATP and NADPH produced during light reactions are utilized in this step. So in this step, we will be utilizing the ATP molecules which were produced during the light reaction. So how the reaction will take place? Now the, this was the product of the previous step that is 3-phosphoglycerate. Now this phosphoglycerate will, on this phosphoglycerate ATP will add, it will utilize the ATP and it will form an intermediate molecule called 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. So 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. Now what happens to how it forms this by utilizing ATP? Now when it utilizes ATP, ATP has three phosphates, right? It is triphosphate. Now this ATP gets converted into ADP which has diphosphate. So two phosphate groups are there. So one extra phosphate gets added to this compound. Therefore it forms biphosphoglycerate. So here two phosphate groups gets added. So this extra phosphate group in ATP gets added to this compound and it forms a biphosphate compound. So this is also a three carbon compound. So this is the next step and then in, this is the intermediate compound basically and here ATP gets utilized. Now this will further utilize NADPH. So NADPH will get further utilized and this intermediate compound will extract the high energy electrons of NADPH and it will form another compound called G3P. And what is G3P? It is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. It is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So this is the next stable compound which is formed in Calvin cycle. So here what happens? Each PGA needs one ATP molecule and one NADPH molecule. So each this PGA. Now what I told you in the first step, two molecules of PGA are formed. Right? So in that case, each of them will need one ATP molecule and then it will form this intermediate product. Now another important thing to note here is fixation of six molecules of carbon dioxide is needed to generate one molecule of glucose from the cycle. Now if you want to produce one molecule of glucose then six molecules of carbon dioxide should be fixed. That means six molecules of carbon dioxide should be added to RUBP. Now, in the previous step, in the previous slide, I just wrote the equation for one molecule of carbon dioxide. Now, at once, you can only add one molecule of carbon dioxide. So, if I say that six molecules of carbon dioxide needs to be added, that means the entire Calvin cycle should run for six times. Each time, one carbon dioxide molecule will be added. Again, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. This way, you have to add six molecule of carbon dioxide. So now, whatever reaction I will write, I will write it considering six molecule of carbon dioxide. But please note that these six molecules of carbon dioxide will not get added at once. It will get added in each cycle. Therefore, to generate one molecule of glucose, the Calvin cycle should run for six times. So that six molecules of carbon dioxide can be fixed. So now considering this fact, let us try to write down the equation for step one. What was step one? Step one was carboxylation. So let us write down the equation for carboxylation once again. What happens in carboxylation? RUBP combines with CO2. That is what happens during this and it forms two molecules of 
PGA, right? I explained this to you. This is a five carbon molecule. This is one carbon. So a six carbon unstable compound is formed, which breaks into two, three carbon compound, right? Now, if I say that it has to run six times, that means six times carbon dioxide will get added to six times RUBP because every time there will be one new RUBP. So six RUBP plus six CO2 will give this will also be 6 times, so 6 into 2 will be 12. So 12 molecules of PGA, that is phosphoglycerate, will be produced. So this would be the step 1. Now what would be the step 2? Step 2 is reduction. So in step 2, you have 12 molecules of 3 PGA. Now each 3 PGA, each PGA will need one ATP molecule. So how many ATP molecules need to be utilized? 12 ATP molecules. Each one ATP for each PGA, right? So therefore the intermediate product which is formed is 13 biphosphoglycerate. Now this will again utilize NADPH. Again, one NADPH will be utilized per molecule. So here again, since you have 12 PGA molecules, so you need 12 NADPH as well. So this 12 NADPH molecule will therefore result in the formation of 12 molecules of G3P, that is 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Right? Now this 3 denotes the position of the phosphate. Like if you had studied about IUPAC nomenclature in, you, in your chemistry, you would know what is this 3, what is this 1, what is this 3. They basically denotes the position of the phosphate group in that organic compound. That is how we name organic compound. Now I do not want to get into that details. So by now, so what is the result of this reduction? That 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is formed. So now what happens? Now we have reached here. We have 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now out of these 12 molecules, 2 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate are utilized for the synthesis of glucose, fructose, starch, etc. So they basically are used for the synthesis of carbohydrates. So 2 molecules of G3P will be utilized for the synthesis of glucose, glucose, fructose, starch, whatever. And this is how, now since we are utilizing 6 carbon dioxide, so the result of this would be 1 molecule of glucose because we started with 6 carbon dioxide. But please, please do remember that this 6 molecules of carbon dioxide cannot be fixed in one cycle. In one cycle, you can fix one molecule of CO2. So for one cycle, this 6 times will just vanish. Everything will become divided by 6, all your equations. Clear? Okay. So this is how your glucose gets synthesized. So this is exactly the step, step where sugar synthesis is taking place. Now the question is, we are still left with 10 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So what happens to this 10 remaining molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate? So that is what we are going to see in the next step. That is the last step of Cal Calvin cycle, which is regeneration. Now this is again a cycle. The name itself says Calvin cycle. So it is going to be a cyclic process. So we will go back to the starting point. And what was our starting point? Starting point was RUBP, that is ribulose 1,3-biphosphate. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.